Hello everyone, I'm Drew, I'm that frog guy, and today I'm coming at you from the reptile room with one newest addition. YouTube, meet Pennywise. Pennywise, meet YouTube. Uh, I was struggling on finding a name for the last frogfish, but this one just came to me. Um, wart skin frogfish are also known as clown frogfish because of their coloration. Um, he's probably going to be yellow and maroon, but it's hard to tell at this size. Um, for some reason, he's also sitting in a really high flow area of the tank. Um, but Pennywise is tiny and little and super cute. And I've gotten to meet one cherry shrimp. But I'd love for him to eat a little more. I haven't seen him if he got the other cherry shrimp before I went um, to went and was in a parade today for my 10 year anniversary from school. Man, I feel old. Um, but I felt like I should update a video on this tank and its newest inhabitant, and I'm glad I just got that on camera. Um, he's probably getting stressed seeing me sitting here. But he's actually been here for, what, three, four hours just sitting there waiting for food? He almost got a ghost shrimp sitting there, so I think he's just like, I'm gonna catch something. But he's actually been sleeping with Mr. Uh, Mrs. Ursula here, the large... He like sleeps in that cave right next to it. I'm so worried, but it seems like this starfish like shrimp way more than fish. It tries to eat shrimp every time, but yeah, this is little Pennywise. I was gonna do some fun balloon thing, and but I didn't get a balloon today, and I just felt like finally showing you guys my newest little creature in the room. Um, for those of you who don't know, he is in the 20 gallon build tank, uh, the two spires, or spires of eternity, with the sump, this whole tank, you can see the whole video of me creating it and making it, the weekly, monthly updates and stuff on this tank. Um, I would put my new orange lens on, but, uh, I actually neglected to grab it out before I started filming, so... You are getting the raw, unchanged color of what my camera picks up. But I'll keep you guys posted. I'm hoping Pennywise is healthy and will live. I got him from Diver's Den. Um, for those of you who don't know, they have uh, what you see, what you get fish. Um, one of the only sites that do that. And they do carry frogfish quite often, um, at least in the summer months. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the right one to pop up. And uh, poor little... Um, Pennywise is my newest guinea pig. I'm just kidding. Um, I think he's gonna do great. I'm doing all I can to keep him healthy and happy. Um, I'm gonna get some pods, I think, because he's a little tiny for ghost shrimp. And I'm gonna get some other orders for food and stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep him healthy and happy. And, uh, as you can see, he is absolutely tiny. Those, that's, those are snail shells there. And that's, that's a frag plug. That snail shell's bigger than a frag plug. He is the size of, like, a quarter when he's fully stretched out. But uh, enough of me bugging Pennywise. I'm gonna try one more ghost shrimp in this, or uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll throw one more ghost shrimp in this tank and see if he can catch it. Um, I want him to eat, be, want him to start eating more and being healthy, but he did actually grab onto my tongs earlier, which is kind of hilarious. I would love to have that on camera. I had a dying cherry shrimp in it and he just latched onto my tongs and missed the shrimp. Oh, there's a ghost shrimp. The fateful encounter. Come on, Penny. As you can see, he's almost the same size as the ghost shrimp. He's a little bit bigger, so that, that's my smallest ghost shrimp I had. And that's why he's been waiting there. That shrimp is just kind of chilling.
I think Pennywise, if you hung out in that corner, you'd probably have a better chance of catching him. The flow where he's sitting is just not good. Everything seems to either hide in that corner or kind of go up and around him. If, I, if he was sitting anywhere in the tank, I would have been able to feed him today. But I got to rely on the shrimp moving on its own. Don't you focus? Just cleaning up rocks. Well, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, oh. I went right past you, Penny. Right past you. You gonna let him do that to you, Penny? You gonna let him do that to you? Just run right over you? I thought you were a fucking rock. Use your thingy. You were very patient. Is he too big for you? I think he was scared of him. I'm focusing the shrimp. Well, I'll let him be. Uh, we'll see if he catches him. I might pull that shrimp out of there. It's kind of ridiculous that he can't catch him. Um, or he should have had him there if he was going to eat him. So maybe, maybe he thinks he's a little too big for him. Um, I'll have to find some other smaller food. I have cherry shrimp, but they don't live too long in this water. You might get a hour out of them, but... Uh, I'm Drew. I'm that frog guy. This is Pennywise, and this is Pennywise Tank. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'm going to keep you guys updated on Pennywise as the days go on. Months, and until he is a big, fat, couple-year-old fish, and I'll be very happy. Um, but that said, anglers have a really hard time in captivity. Sometimes they live long times, and sometimes they straight up and die in a year's time, a month time, a sudden angler death disease. And we'll, we'll see if that happens to Little Penny, but I have a feeling starting him young, getting him used to aquarium life, is the reason I went with such a small one. So uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.